my name's Shenzi. I'm with Rochester Black Rose. Uh, we're Rochester's uh, anarchist organization. Uh, we're proud to co-sponsor this event. Um, I wanted to just say a, a few things about uh, the anarchist perspective on what's happening in Syria. Um, we live in the United States, uh, and that makes us citizens and subjects of the most powerful and brutal empire in world history. That means that we have a national responsibility to restrain U.S. imperialism and U.S. aggression everywhere and anywhere in the world, on principle, like has been said before, it's absolutely correct. But it's not our only responsibility, because whether it's refugees, whether it's migrant workers, people matter more than borders. Yes. And, and if that's true, if we're internationalists who believe that, then we have an additional responsibility to support democratic uprisings and social revolution wherever we see them in the world. In Syria, that means supporting the Rojava revolution in yes. the northern Kurdish section, and it means, and it also means continuing to support the democratic civilian elements within the Syrian opposition. So, uh, one sec. Um, uh, we must, uh, if we, if we really care about the Syrian people, we have to simultaneously demand that they are entitled to both peace and freedom in their own country. It means that we have to demand several things of our own government. The first one of which is no U.S. troops in Syria. Thank you. To be obvious, but we have to start there. Second, the United States must accept as many Syrian refugees as needed. Thank and you. provide all necessary aid to U.N. and E.U. refugee relief efforts. No more escalating airstrikes against the Syrian regime and lift all U.S. economic sanctions on Syria. Assad's people don't deserve to starve because he's a war criminal. Stop all aid from the U.S. and its allies, Israel, Jordan, Turkey, and Saudi Arabia, for theocratic factions within the Syrian opposition, for the jihadist militias for al-Nusra. Remove the Kurdistan Workers' Party PKK from the State Department's terrorist list. Yeah. This will allow Americans and people around the world to directly send aid to the Rojava revolution without fear of legal reprisal at home. Next, the United States must pressure the Kurdistan regional government in Iraq to end its embargo against Rojava and support autonomy for Sinjar province and the Yazidi people. Yeah. Yeah. The U.S. and Russia must call for an immediate ceasefire to be followed by democratic peace negotiations. All Syrians must have the right to return home or to make a new home wherever they find one. Last but not least, that the United States must provide any economic aid needed to rebuild Syria after the war. We broke it, we can fix it, or pay to fix it at least. Thank you everyone for coming out. Uh, I echo the sentiment that we need to get uh, a lot bigger and a lot stronger than this. I uh, look forward to seeing you all at the next one. Thank you very much.